spell the roll. Supervisor Westrick. I'm here. Clerk Matei here. Trustee Babel. Here. Trustee Blackstack. Here. Trustee Nuts. Yeah. Trustee Richley. Here. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Uh, agenda. Uh, surprise, I don't have any additions tonight, so <laughs> maybe we can approve it as presented, huh? I'll make a motion to approve it as presented. Mr. Richley. I support. Ms. Babel. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes. We need to approve the minutes for both meetings of uh, December 19th of 2022 and January 16th of 2023. I believe there's a small minute for the 2023, January 16th one. Sir? Yes, I sent everyone an email after the board meeting that the um, amounts that were stated at the meeting were incorrect. There were some um, additions to the invoices. Actually, the one check came out of invoices instead of accounts um, payable. And some additions were made last minute. Well, the agenda never got changed, but the correct um, reports should have been in your packets. So okay. that's what, why you'll see that crossed out in the correct amounts in there from the last meeting. Okay. Motion will be ordered to approve the December 19th yes. and January 16th corrected minutes as presented. So moved. Mr. Richley. So I'll support. Mr. Knotts. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Presentations. We got to have a sheriff. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. So this is my first time this year here to your board meeting, so I'll formally introduce myself again. My name is Jim Spadafore. I'm the under sheriff here in St. Clair County. Um, our numbers for last year were submitted. I'm not sure if you had them last meeting or not, or you're just seeing them for the first time at this meeting. Um, one thing I just point out is the total number of calls of service was 889 uh, totally for the year. Um, there was an additional like chart packet. I don't know if you guys ever got that. It kind of it looks like this in the front of it. If you don't, I, I'll leave you a copy. Our captain um, put it together. He was actually okay, supposed great. to be—he was supposed to be here tonight, but he was feeling a little ill, so I told him I'd, uh, I'd come down for him. Um, one thing that's different this year for your township is personnel change. Um, last year, you had Deputy Cleland and Deputy Kreiner as your deputies. Uh, this year, you'll still have Deputy Kreiner um, in his position here, but Deputy Cleland took a different position within the department. Um, so you'll have Deputy April Siebel, and I'm not sure if anybody has met her before yet. Um, if you haven't, I'll make sure she stops in to say hi. She's been here a couple years with our department, but don't let that fool you. She's very experienced. Um, she's been involved with our Explorer program. She's been involved with the Marine Patrol. And she works so much overtime at our department in two years, she probably crammed worth four years worth of experience in. Um, she just recently completed what's called a DRE school, which is a drug recognition expert, which means she could testify in court as an expert on driving habits, um, narcotic use, and how it impairs a person's driving. It's a pretty intense course and it goes through several different phases and ends up with like 40 hours of field service training where she's conducting these. And she had to travel significantly to get this certification. She's the only person in our department that currently has it. Um, so it's a small group even in the entire state of Michigan. So this is a huge asset, not just for the county and the sheriff's department, but her day-to-day -day operations are here, you know, in your area with your community. So that's, that's a really big bonus for this area. And we're really proud of her and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy having her here for the, at least the next year. Any questions? Questions? Anybody? Nope. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for being here. You guys have a good night. You I saw too. April's name written on the board in there, but uh, it said January. I said, well, I don't know if that's a temporary replacement or a don't. Permanent. She's a full time. Make sure she stops in and talks to you guys. Right. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> Anybody uh, for public comment? Go ahead. Three minutes, please. Just state your name. Name and address is all we need. Anybody here know me? I do. Come on, do. anybody? <laughs> All right. So, I'm R.T. Hilla, Raleigh Trent Hilla, 5341 River Road, East China, 48054. Can anybody up there repeat that? Why don't you just get on with your presentation? <laughs> oh boy, you're gonna love me, buddy. So anyways, I was taken to court after the property had been sold. The attorney's sitting right here, by the way, and uh, during court, 
he pulled a quick one on me, but he didn't think I caught it. I came in and wrote a letter to the uh, office manager here the exact same day and time. But anyways, he done an awesome job for you guys. I'm going to tell you that. But when he threw in the wildflower, just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth with what I'm dealing with. Anyways, every form that was sent out to me was for 1105 Bell River Road, okay? There was no violations against 1105 Bell River Road. There were no violations against the wildflower. But I'm going to let you know that he threw it in there because I brought it to his attention that, by the way, 1105, or wildflower, I don't know the address. Anyways, for a street that has never been, by the way, your dad would know, some of your dads would know, I grew up right there, four houses from that property I owned up until a couple weeks ago. That street that was put in 20 some years ago, or plus, has trees in it 20 years old. I had to cut them down to get to my property. But yet I had a deputy sent over there to look at my truck in the road, a private road, or the uh, township road, this should be plowed, should be taken care of. But they can't go down it because trees are growing in it. But yet my vehicle that I was being harassed over, being parked in that road, that didn't have a no parking sign. Did you see any pictures of no parking sign on there? None. But yet I was being harassed, getting cops coming over. By the way, the very first 911 call I made over there was him drunk at my camper on the 4th of July, my weekend to celebrate. Just so you know, that was a three-way call with the 911. My brother in Texas went out on that call also. And just so you know, the police report, I was hoping that sheriff would stay here a little bit longer. The police report does not even come close. By the way, these are all documents. If anybody knows me from Marine City, these are all documents. The police report don't come close to what? the 911 call conversation was. Just so you know, the deputy wrote that in your favor, the police report. Because the 911 call, if it is ever for you, will prove otherwise. So, go ahead. Here at three, uh, give you just a touch to- No, nope, no, I'm done. I just want you guys to be aware of it. If you want, I will stay. You guys can go through some documents, but I would highly suggest, I've already gone to Eslip in Marine City today. He finally got back to me. He's the act, acting city manager right now, but he is not happy with your uh, code enforcer any more than you should be because what I got here is gonna blow your minds. I'm telling you, it's not good. It's not good at all. Thank you, Mr. Hiller. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody want me to stay? If you have okay. anything you'd like you to provide to us, we'd be happy to accept it. <laughs> I've got pictures, I've got documentation. He has seen some of it, not all of it. Your code enforcer is in violation of things that should have been addressed by him in his own property, just so you know. Okay. I'll make a follow up with you this week. Thank you, sir. Yep. Thank you. God bless and good luck, Thank guys. Thank you. Good night. And, and good night. I didn't mean to upset anybody. I'm just, I am who I am. And I don't like people. Thank you. Uh, you guys can comment later. Okay. Consent agenda. Uh, number one, St. Clair County Sheriff Quarterly Report 2022. He just went over that for us. Marine City Area Fire Authority Report January 23. St. Clair Area Fire Authority G Report of January 2023. Planning Commission meeting minutes, August 2022, and the Park Commission meeting minutes, December 2022, is presented. Do anybody have any questions or comments on those? I'll make a motion that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Mr. Not, Mr. Knott, so Mr. Richley, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Disbursements, payroll, $50,723.80. Accounts payable is $112,895.85. 
EFDs, 72 to 791, were 63,067 and 14 cents. E check, 66, was 302 and 30 cents. Tax account was 87,567 and seven cents. And invoices of $72,697.28. Total disbursements for this period, $387,253.44. I'll make a motion to pay the bills as presented. Clerk Patel. I support. support. Ms. Babel, any other questions, comments, discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Roll call vote. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Nuts? Yes. Trustee Richley? <coughs> yes. Clerk Patel, yes. Supervisor Westrick? Yes. Thank you. Okay, moving on to old business one, board of review appointment. Um, had some some clarifications, some corrections from the last meeting on January 16th. We cannot, we cannot have a township board member uh, serve on the board of review. Uh, wasn't brought to our attention when we put Nicole on that last meeting. So basically, uh, we got it's incorrect listed and one from the board of review with reappointment roster. Uh, Donald out. Wills was already appointed to this board a year ago, but that information wasn't conveyed when mm -hmm. we did the appointments last meeting. So. Okay. This basically reinforces his re reappointment with an updated term, ending the same as everyone else. Okay, so that, does that give us a full uh, board then? Mm -hmm. It does, okay. without an alternate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? So I'll make a motion to reappoint Donald Wills for the term ending 1231-2024. Nice. Do you have to be any mention that Nicole's Appointment is rescinded because it's. Yeah. It, do we need to say that? In no, some I don't think so. Since we did yeah, put it in the document. This person's going to replace Nicole. Okay. Miss Arthur, she cannot be online, right? Kirk Mate has made the motion. Babel. And the yes. Babel yes. support. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? New business general counsel interviews. We have two people that we asked to come and talk to the board uh, a little bit briefly, very briefly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that we selected from a group of, of people that responded. Um, uh, I got Mr. Golden Bolgan on top here. Would you like to go ahead and go first, sure. please? Thank you for the opportunity to be here and uh, to be considered for this position. Uh, my name is Robert Golden Bolgan. I'm a shareholder in the law firm of Garen Luco Miller. Uh, I am the managing shareholder of our Port Huron office where we have uh, five, six attorneys, one who's about to retire. Um, been a, a resident of St. Clair County my entire life, living in the south end of the county, uh, practicing law. In, uh, I started out in Macomb County years ago doing municipal work for the city of Mount Clemens and then moved up here in uh, 1996, I think it was. Uh, my moved my practice up here in 1996. So um, I've been practicing municipal law my entire career. We have a, a, a solid team of municipal practitioners within the firm to draw upon, but yet you have the benefit of having local counsel, local attorneys in the community who live here, who know this community, and, and who are available at your beck and call. Um, I would tell you that the, the presentation or the proposal we gave you is thorough sets forth what we would like to do for the township and we'd be happy to serve in that capacity and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Anybody have any questions, Mr. Cohn? questions. Not that I can think of. I heard your name a lot. I don't know if we've ever met. But, Jeez, uh, I hope so. We've never, across <laughs> the we've never been across the table from each other, which is a good thing, but uh, <laughs> but we've heard good things, so uh, that's why thank we, you. You were the one of the ones we selected. We've heard good things about you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. And Bob was brief. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. My name's Alan Francis. I'm a partner with Fletcher Falco, Shouty Francis, uh, in Port Huron. Uh, similar situation with respect to our proposal. Our proposal lays out our experience and qualifications. Uh, we represent numerous cities, uh, multiple townships, uh, St. Clair County. Uh, several school districts in the area. 
Uh, Gary's been doing this type of work for 40 years. Uh, a comment I made to Bob before the meeting was it's easy to, to learn and take instruction from someone who's still working, and he still works more than almost anybody in our office. Um, I've been doing this business, uh, I'm going on 20 years this year, and I've learned from Gary, I've worked underneath Gary. Um, we have eight and a half attorneys. I say half because we have an attorney who's of counsel in our office. And one of the benefits I believe that, that we have is if East China selects us as counsel, uh, you select the firm. Uh, we take great pride in our billings to our municipal clients and to all our clients uh, in doing work efficiently. Uh, we don't bill for talking to each other about your work. It's, it's likely that one of our attorneys has encountered most issues that are gonna be encountered in the township. And then the other thing that we do is we like to staff matters based on our attorney that has the most expertise. Is that we have a guy in our office, Todd Shouty, that does a lot of labor work. Gary does a lot of labor work. There's no need to reinvent the wheel and have someone else learn it on the township's dime. So we try to assign things based on the level of experience. Um, I am uh, 45 years old. I born and raised, nah, not born, I've been raised in St. Clair County since I was five. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I have three kids uh, with the ra age range of 16, 14, and two. And the point <laughs> of the two-year-old means I'll be the person standing here for a number of years uh, because any inclination I had on, on not working for a while is gone. But I'm, I'm happy to entertain any questions you have. Um, I'm available, just, just like Bob's available. Bob's a good guy. We, share um share space not share space we're in the same office building but if there are any questions i know there was some comments uh, sort of directed at me earlier in the meeting i'll be happy to answer anything i can Barry's got anything i'm curious as hell but i don't think it's we can't really probably speak in public forum on that anyway I'll, I'll <laughs> for myself and for him yeah. absolutely yeah i felt comfortable with both proposals <laughs> <laughs> you won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, no questions? All right. Uh, if there are any that come up, my cell and my office number in the proposal. If any uh, trustees or if supervisor wants to get a hold of me, feel free to do so. I'm okay. happy. I'm happy to answer. Any I'm going to follow up with the manager and the clerk and whatnot. We're going to talk more about it. But I, I thank you both for coming in. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, you both frequent in your dollars for progress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not getting billed for this, are we? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can free, feel free to stick around if you like or take off. We got the rest of the board agenda nice. items, but that's you what we got. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bob, Sorry. you mentioned that they have eight attorneys' in office. You didn't mention the number. Six. Six in, in here, 60 in the entire firm. I'm, say that six again. Six in County, 60 throughout the entire firm. And the entire firm is located in what kind of a geographical? Detroit, Ann Arbor, Grand Rapids, Grand Blank, <coughs> Traverse City. Okay, Michigan. Got it. Yeah. Michigan, cars. Mm -hmm. yeah, I heard the six, though, I think. Six, six this was eight and a half, I think. I, well, you don't have a half? And, and I <laughs> apologize, my math is bad. It's seven and a half. I counted the half as a full. Oh, there you go. Seven and a half. There we go. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. No business to DWSRF additional work quote. Uh, you know, I just might want to say we, if they would have other things they need to do, they don't need to set lists to the rest of us. Pardon me? If they have other things they need to do, they do not need to set lists. No, you don't. By the way. I'm going to see how it works. Okay. It's, we learn from this too, by the way. You're not going to learn anything new from me, I can tell you that. <laughs> we might. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, asset management and committee reviewed and uh, we recommend the approval of the attached here. We have, after this project was submitted to the MDOT for a permit, they came back and they're making us grout the abandoned water line full because it's within the confluence or influence of their roadway. It's under their shoulder. So um, this one is required. They're kind of wanting to do the other one, but that's a lot more money. But this one we have to go ahead and they're gonna get ready to get started here the third week of February on the project. I don't know when this would happen, but it's, we wanna get this in place before they start if there's something that's gonna be holding them up. So uh, I, the action is approve a bid from TR Piper Zach, who is doing the work on that particular section of the main 
the amount of $54,988 is described on PC's letter attached uh, to grout that six inch line when they're doing the work. I'll make support. Mr. Richley, Mr. Richley support. Any comments, questions, discussion? No, we've been over this one. That's yeah, we've been over in the asset meeting. Please call vote. We'll call vote. Trustee Blackstack? Yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Nats? Yes. Coach Matei, yes. Supervisor Westrick? Yes. <clears throat> okay, new business three. Request for sewer credit. Another, as described, it's, it's in front of you. This credit is recommended by the supervisor. He did it. His inspection, 15440, address is 4173 River Road. I recommend that we approve a sewer credit as recommended by the EPW <laughs> supervisor in the amount of $154.40 for 4173 River Road. Mr. Knotts, thank you. <clears throat> support. Mr. Richley, support. Support, please. We'll get you a stamp. <laughs> Questions, comments? Okay, roll call vote. Clerk Mate, yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Nuts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Supervisor Ruster? Yes. Okay, for employee training requests at the water plant, I have a, a, an employee at the water plant that would like to go to a two day wastewater operations review course. Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Mount Pleasant, Michigan, March 22nd and 23rd. Of course, we very much encourage this. Uh, here is seven hundred twenty-six dollars. Everybody understands. We got a sewer supervisor, really getting close to retirement. There is a hard position to fill because of the license that is required. Mm -hmm. Here we have an employee that's eager to get all these licenses, and it would be great if it would work. Yep. If this would just happen to work out right. Mm -hmm. So that I was really, uh, really think this is a good idea. So that we have we have to get another water employee. Yeah. That's a really good idea. So and was that, is that, was that a motion, Mr. Knotts, to approve that? No, I, I I very much would make a motion to, that we approve <laughs> the attendance of Ryan Lamb to this two-day water wastewater operations review at Mount Pleasant. The cost covered by the township seven hundred twenty-six dollars and twenty-six cents. It's seven estimated at seven twenty-six twenty-six. Okay, been moved by Mr. Knotts. I'll support that. Any questions, comments, discussion? Clerk, please go. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Nats? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Clerk Matei, yes. Supervisor Western? Yes. New business five, water meter order. Our DPW supervisor is at it again. Uh, I think they eat them for lunch down there, but we're trying to get meters. We're still having a hard time getting them. He wants to put another bulk order in for 35 eighths meters, uh, five eighths and three quarters meters, and then 31 inch meters. Um, he just wanted to run it by us, and uh, I make a motion to approve the meter order for $22,467.90. That does not include freight charges. That, that's going to be additional when it comes, but we don't know what that is. I see he cited something. I don't have the report. I'm assuming he's got funds in that account to cover. He did. He, we do, yeah. In that case, I'll approve. I'll make a I'll second, second your motion. Mr. Nuts. Okay. So, uh, any other discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstack? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Rick Matei, yes. Supervisor Wester? Yes. Okay, DWSRF pay app and Davis Bacon certification. Uh, we have our first pay application for this project. Um, so mobilization and miscellaneous. Uh, pay application number one is for two TR Piper Zach. Uh, in the amount of $15,300, uh, we're going to authorize the township manager to sign the application. It's been signed and approved by our project engineer for that project, PCE. I uh, make a motion we approve that. Well, the only question I have is, what, how did they spend 15 grand so far? Could, well, they did some mobilization. I couldn't figure it out. They have some materials stored on site. They did some uh, mobilization. And part of the contract of the SRF revolving fund is they have to mobilize within 30 days. Of the contract to get started, yeah, so, so they keep it valid. Wanted them to All get right. out there and get some work done. Okay. Support. Thank you, Mr. Richley. Who made the motion? I did. Any other questions? Clerk, please call the roll. Roll call vote. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Knox? 
Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Beeble? Yes. Clerk Mate, yes. Supervisor Westra? Yes. Okay, number seven, proposal for water bay. It's a shared line replacement. This is one that our supervisor at the DPW brought to us. They're on a shared service line that goes back and feeds multiple residences. Six. And uh, what we want to do is set up a, a, a district for uh, shared costs on that that's going to pay for it. I was going to add because I had a little bit of a problem. I drove back in there looking around what's going on. You know, they, they got a one and a half inch line back there and they got six houses hooked up to it. And you can tell by the way the houses were built, probably the first one got the line and they all of a sudden tacked on and they, so that they didn't have to run right. their own individual line in from the main out on the right. uh, nine. So now it looked like they figuring out a way to get yeah. improved service at the cost of the township. But since you, I was going to suggest that this is- No, this will be a, dis a special assessment special district. district. And the, we're only gonna do the $1,500 engineer's estimate at this time as well. I'm gonna approve for okay, I have one other thing. The engineer's estimate for six houses at eight inch line. I'm sorry, but that's a heck of a lot of overkill. Uh, for, a, four, a four inch line can be bored. An eight inch line's got to be dug. Yeah, we, uh, have, we have to do eight inch, but they did the calculation on it already. For four house, six houses? Yeah. Yeah. Now what he's tried not, what he's done is he's thrown something else in here and I thought that was... I said hard. six inch, but he said it has to be eight inch. He did the calculation. Plus there's got to be a hydrant there. No, what he's talking about, he's worrying about fire hydrant. You have to have that kind of a line for a fire hydrant. Yep. But you don't need a fire hydrant back there because all the fire hydrants are out on 29. The fire, fire company can lay a line if they want to, but they don't have to. Well, it they gives got us the biggest pool of water right out their back door. Every one of those places is on the water. Well, part of this is going to be that our DPW is going to have to flush it from time to time, and we need a way to do that, Ralph. Yep. It, yeah, we already kind of talked about the design requirements, but that that's what the 1500 is going to be for, is to come up with a number, a design requirement, it's, it's, and it's, it's just like a, We have to have that to start four, the There are six district. little houses. They're small ranch, what we would call in the old days vacation houses. And they want to put an eight inch line back there for them? That's Unfortunately, not, that's I'm sorry, I work. can't go along with that. I eat, listen. That, that, unless he's going to tell me it would cost him just exactly the same amount of money to put in the eight inches it would to put in a four inch. Well, it can't do a four inch for sure. I know that. But a six inch or an eight inch, but it, it, he said it doesn't make the design requirement at six inch. He said he got to go to eight. And we're only talking the difference in the plastic pipe, too. What? Who's paying for the water line? The, the residents will be. Okay, because we don't. No. Yeah. No, this, this is to get a step one. We have to have an estimate of costs and everything else to, to establish a special assessment district. Another, another and these costs will be assessed to the homeowners. Yeah, I understand. Well, that's, the that's, line. that's correct. Okay. And once again, you know, well, they, I'm looking after some of this after the taxpayers. First of all, I'm, I'm happy that we're doing an assessment. But now for the guys that are getting assessed, I don't get assessed any more than they need. I, I agree with you. That's why I said a six inch line. And then you said no, it has to be an eight. And then, and that'll all come up in the design of it, too. I mean, it's going to be part of it. I mean, they'll put in what we tell them. To we put talked in. about it at the asset meeting, I think. We, uh, it's not, that has not been brought up at the asset meeting. We did, meeting but we didn't yet. talk about the size of the line. Right. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are these homeowners aware of this? These expenses are coming to them? Well, it, it, we're going to probably be notified them that we're going to establish a special okay, district. Okay, and then my and second question is... We don't have a number to give them yet. Normally, to do such a thing, you would have to have a petition from the residents, and they have to have 50% or more to do a special assessment district, just like we had to do with the canal cleaning fees. and the. Yeah, so before we, like... This falls under what the they're doing, Sandy, is they're the making this mandatory. It's the yeah. same way we will do down on Bryson Lane. They're saying you, it's it's required. And that's one of the reasons they stuck that fire business in there. Mm -hmm. Now, if the residents yeah. object, you get fifty percent of them objecting. Then you got to go to a vote. I don't. Yeah. Want, you only well, got six guys to talk to now. This yeah. could get a little tricky. The ordinance requires each household have their own independent service from the main. Yep, that's why we're doing. And that. that's. Uh, Although these that's, are grandfathered that's in. That's 350 feet. It probably happened before it was established. And they, can, they can run a line. They can He's run been, an inch. They can run been, a one an inch or inch Individual and a half residents have been sharing lines. They've been separating them and putting their own lines in. So, you're I'm right. They, they can object and, and do it. I'm going to tell you, they, you, there's other ways to do this. One of the ways, if, if they want to do it, each of those houses individually, that's a service line. The main's out on 29. For, if they're responsible for their own service lines. We talked about that. I don't remember why Blaine said we couldn't do that. 
Yes. Yeah, it's a big open From field. From the road to the residence is the homeowner's expense. Mm -hmm. In addition to all the houses that were built on Bell River Road, he had to pay a front footage. These lots don't go to River Road. Well, where's the water there's line two coming things. from? There's, there's, and we have, we have this house goes, goes there's a shared drive that goes in behind yeah. it. Correct. We have and they only go to that shared drive to the river. Yeah. We have an existing main line on 29. It runs all the way Correct. from the border of the township to the plant. Right. They can reach that line by going straight out from the houses. Well, they it's can't 400. So it's someone else's property, Ralph. Is this part of that? Oh, you're saying there is no existing line right there right now in that particular location? Does it go in and then back and then yeah, back it goes out? River Road, their line it goes in, in and their driveway goes in just like this. Yeah. Here's your houses right here. Part. If they were to go from the main, they'd have to bore across someone else's property with all of them. To get, this property is not owned by these people. Correct. So there's, this is the only right of way to get services into these people. So what they're going, what you're is proposing is to run it down that road? Just get, they'll get an easement for that road, take it down the road and, and over. In eight wait, inch what line. road? About that, the meeting? Yeah, what eight road? Inch line. No, I, either I wasn't at the meeting or Maybe I was weren't. deaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be both, but I'm guessing you were not at the meeting. But I, that's if the fifteen hundred dollars for it, that. If, I, I would not, I would not vote for it unless you are doing this special assessment. But Sandy raises some very good points as to whether or not you will be successful in getting a. S assessment district established. I think we once need they it. do the design sketch, you know, and we have the estimated, the yeah, the estimate, estimated cost. They're going to go ahead and divide that out in some letters to establish it. There's a process to establish a special assessment district. I guess we'd let them go through it, but if they say no, we're, we're stuck for the if cost. If they object, the then we, we take the next steps. Right. This is the first step. Are they legally required to? By the owners, they are. In, in that line, it's, they're constantly out there shutting it off because someone's is broke and they got to shut the, the whole line off for all these houses to get to it, the inch and a half line. What you're saying, DPW guy figures they can make a legal, a legal uh, thing that this has to be done? According to the ordinance, they all have to have their own. Obviously, it's been working for about 20 years. I would suggest before we proceed, we get a legal opinion on the way to handle this <laughs> because, in my experience, it normally has to be done by a petition between these people, and 50% have to say yes. Actually, 51% have to say yes in order to proceed. You can't just, unless this is a... This, this, this is to come up with a, a basic design and a cost estimate so we can tell them when they ask the next question, well, how much? Then we can give them that. How much is a good question. I see fifteen hundred. I see thirteen thousand three hundred on this little sheet that they want us to approve. Fifteen hundred for the preliminary design and cost estimate that we need to to, to begin to establish a special assessment district. Okay. Thirteen thousand is they got to go to full board drawings and design. If we it. agree to tell them to do it, then it goes to thirteen. So what we're approving tonight, if we do, is the fifteen hundred dollars for the initial design. That is correct. We need to have that so we can discuss the matter. So we can have a dollar amount to tell them. Yeah. Basically, so you're going to use that to discuss the matter with the residents. That is I think that's probably why. So it's going to cost there. us fifteen hundred bucks to discuss the matter with the residents. Pretty much. Uh, just one, one more thought. In addition to the normal requirements that we've had to do, we have to have public hearings for this kind of thing. Yeah, all that comes. Okay, but, it's part of the process. But the but the first thing is you have to have a dollar amount to give them. It's still different than what the drainage district does with the the Sinclair County Drain Commissioner. They actually just did it with the halfway drain down there when they had to replace that pipe going through River Park. They yeah, did a good job on it, too. Yep. So they had to come up with an estimate, and then they went and said, this is what it's going to be. And then they do all their legal things. And I don't know what all those steps are. but. but so this $1,500 says, we propose to provide the services outlined above for a fee not to exceed 1500 engineer's estimate of cost and preliminary water main sketch. Mm -hmm. Period. Not and 13.3 no. remainder of scope out. Right. 13.3 is if for the other additional stuff. if we want to go. Once this all goes through, we say you have to design it. Put it on paper. Well, they're not <laughs> going to make the final design for the extra 13 grand unless we've got the approval. Correct. From We're only going to do this to, to make sure we have an approval. I'm, you know, that is a little line. I would really, really to think of, to talk about fifteen hundred dollars to get an idea of how we can correct the situation, but it's still a darn overkill to 
with an eight-inch line down there for six houses. Right. When they have a one and a half inch going in there now, don't they? Is that yeah. what you just they, said? They've been living on a one and a half exactly. for quite a while. Well, you know, it's it's from what I get. It's, it's not even multiple. It's a square when you go. To, no, you I don't think it's, it's a surprise. When you, go, when you go to a bigger one, it's not. A, you don't get twice as much water. You get four four times as much water. Anyway. Okay. So what are, what are we thinking? That's, here? This, this came to us through the asset meeting with Blaine. So proposal to for the for design estimate. Well, I, I would only vote for it if it's a special yeah, this is all it comes I back as if it's a special assessment. I would not have voted for it no. in any other matter. Excuse me. That's what it costs. One more question. But if okay. so, say we pass this tonight, then at what point, like, what comes next? Like, say all these people say, no, we don't want it. What do we still? Yeah, they'll prepare us an estimate of costs and roughly what it's going to take to do it, a few weeks, whatever it takes. And then we begin the process of a special assessment district, and I don't know exactly the legal way to do that. Okay. These two gentlemen, I'm sure, do, but yeah. <laughs> um, then they go ahead with that project. So we have a cost to give those people. Right. Let's say it's 120,000, and there's six people. Sounds like that's about 20 grand a piece, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and just just throwing numbers out there. Over years. I know yeah. all about yeah. that. So yeah. that basically, that it, this is what we need to begin the process because we have to have a number. The answer is if they say we, no, they're going to say, "What are you doing?" Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. We could tell them what we're doing, but we need an engineer to say this is what we can do. Right. right. If after we do that, we be, and they say no, and they decide not to pursue we're it. We're going to be on the hook for 1500 we'll if we never go forward with the project. Put the balls in their court after, now, yeah. after right. tonight. Okay. Right. I got you. We're out okay. 1500 bucks if we don't eventually do this project with a special assessment district. Okay. If they do go with it, this is absorbed into that project. Okay. It's too bad you didn't think about this about ooh a year ago and tacked it on to the DW uh, RF uh, grant money. Grant, the grant we passed because that's well, right down that line. It's been discussed, um, but yeah, we can't do it now. Not yet. that no, project. Too bad. Contract money. But anyway, that's that's what it is. So does anybody else have any questions or comments? Well, then I will make a motion that we spend $1,500 to prepare an engineer's cost estimate and preliminary water main sketch for this project. I'll support. Mr. Blackstock <laughs> supports. We're only going to spend 1500 at this point. Okay. And there is six people on that I line. I have to exceed 1500 Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any other questions, comments? No? Clerk, please call the roll. So we'll call vote. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Nuts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Clerk McKay, yes. Supervisor Wester? I'm going to vote. Yes. <laughs> so after that hard sell. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even my project, but i got to sell it. Because Blaine's not here. All right. Uh, yes. Number eight, fire run reimbursement violation update. I'm going to let the clerk handle this. Okay. So, as you, did we get a copy of Nicole's? Nicole's thug, like, yeah, we both got it. Did everyone get that? Yeah, yep. we got it down here. Today? I have it on Kyle here. Yep. Here it is. Okay. So, what this is, is um, basically reaffirming our other past um, discussions we've had about the uncollectible fire runs. Um, Looks like we have about 24,000 is uncollectible. Um, this has been reviewed and obviously we've discussed it many times actually. Um, we have decided to um, forgive anything past, I think it was June 1st of 2022, but I would like- Change the ordinance that we don't do that anymore. Correct, we, we amended the ordinance that we're not going to um, us those fees in the future. Um, in my opinion, we'd be throwing good money away for bad. That's uncollectible. You're, we're, we're spinning our wheels. There's for no any point. more collection efforts on what's past due and that was appeared before that. Correct. Right. And just let those go at this point. Um, that's 
basically. We're all familiar with this, am I, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my objection before was the fact that if you don't enforce your ordinances, they become unenforceable. <laughs> we solved that problem by eliminating this particular ordinance, so I have no more objections. I don't think it was a good idea to eliminate it, but that's no, a different It's a good belief that a lot of this is just going to be uncollectible. Question. Collection efforts are going to exceed what we're going to get. Yeah. Right. So. <coughs> Money not well spent. So? So I would make a motion that we, um, what do I say, forgive or? Waive. Waive the uncollectible. Well, just anything uh, that's pre previous to that date that's not been collected at this time. Balances, correct. The mm -hmm. uncollected. Fire run bills Fire run. previous to July 1st. And that's the, the 29,500. I'm sorry. That's the yeah. one, but there's the Paul ones more. out there Paul. that okay. are waiting collection too. I know, got you. Just, some of it they've already waived. Some of this, this yeah. is that that one guy that's got Pardon me? You had to for babysitting service. Yes. Guy. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you wrote down in the minutes. Yeah, okay. Any other discussion? Sup there, did somebody support it? Huh? Did somebody support yes, it? Yes, I made oh. a motion. He oh. oh, okay, it. okay. You, Sorry. You, what do you want to do? Just pick a date and say everything. <laughs> everything prior, prior to, to the ordinance change of July 1st, I believe it was, of 2022. Okay. We're just we're not going to pursue any collections at from now on. Well, My concern is that this is going to keep we'll have to do it. being an ongoing thing. Yeah. And it's now, now keep it's over. For, over They're next. trying Bye. to change the um, process, like okay. the screening process. Mm -hmm. They are in the works of, I believe it's the fire yeah, chief. I sent the email to a few people. I'm going to send it to the board Issue? tonight when I leave. I'll, I, there's Try an explanation that our, runs me be going down for this type of thing, too. I'll, okay. I'll copy everybody on that after the meeting. Yeah, because it's not going to stop. Yeah. Okay. We're hoping we're going to get a little relief, though. I'll forward you okay. everybody that, that okay. email I sent today on that. Any other discussion? Clerk, please call the lady. Morning. Roll call vote. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Clerk Matei, yes. Supervisor Westrick? Yes. Nine. Rezone recommendation. Uh, basically, they're talking about the. This is from our, our building official. Um, it was a non conforming, I believe, there, but there was, came a question of someone looking for a zoning map and the latest revisions. 2013. Uh, so I'd like to refer back to the Planning Commission in this basically just to review the zoning map and, and to be sure it's accurate and make any changes well, to wait, it. Wait a second. This is the one where we've talked about before. It used to say what, six months? And if you, but this has actually been R2. This, this is not a, an abandoned R1. Uh, Non-conforming property. Right, it's, it's our one. This is conforming. Pardon me? This is conforming. This is it a is conforming property. property. It's an actual, it will be an actual action to rezone it if we get to that far. Correct. Okay. It is property. We do have a business. place like the Marwood, which is non-conforming, that's been abandoned for some period of time. Correct. Which I think it says after about six months it's supposed to revert to, that it can no longer be used as a... I believe it's one year. One year, something like that. Okay. So this property in question is property is okay. general business. So whatever you want to do, Mr. Supervisor. Well, I didn't really want to do anything. That's why I want to refer it back to the Planning Commission for their review. You okay with that, Herb? Yeah, that's fine. I make a motion we do such. Support. Sounds good to me. Any other discussion? All those papers say aye. 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 Opposed? Ten. Our supervisor came to us and said that we needed a uh, access to a certain manhole to get it cleaned out pursuant to the contract that we had with with the uh, camera company. They were cleaning the manholes out. We didn't have an access to these. I think there's a couple manholes up on that big berm along River Road. He had someone provide a quote to him for some temporary, basically some uh, crane mats put down to get there, which was, I said, well, what will we do next time? So he got a price from... Uh, the road commission for a culvert, $2,775. The quote for the temporary measures was more than that. I said, well, let's just go ahead with the temporary measures. He had, the, they were finishing in the township. So I told him to go ahead and approve that for $2,775 to get the uh, culvert installed. 
Uh, turns out that they didn't get it installed in time for the snow came, but he wants to get it installed. So I told him to do it, but I just want to get an official okay from the board that it's our right to do that. So I guess we're looking to approve a quote from the St. Clair County Road Commission to talk to install a permanent access off M29 to the manholes there for $2,775. So moved. So moved. Clerk and support. And support yep. Ms. Ripsley. How you going? You guys got any other questions about it? Yeah, where are you going to pay for it? Pardon me? Where, where are you? Is this, is this a big come out of the DBW budget? Are you going to take some general fund or? Probably. That's okay. I'm just. Yeah, just, I'm thinking. Just no sight on this thing. Like, this is. I think it's more of a capital thing, don't you? This is. Yeah, yes. It's a capital thing. It's a very small amount. Yeah. Can, I think we'll take it out of the capital fund. Okay. Yeah. Do that on the notes. Take it out of the capital fund. Yep. All right. Any other discussion? Please call the roll. Rick Matei, yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Supervisor Westrick? Yes. Request for reimbursement approval. Everybody has everything, the, the amounts are in front of them. I think that we got everything solved. There was a question of, if I'm not mistaken, is it two, is it two items? A, a uh, membership to an online vendor and some uh, equipment that was installed. Is that is that correct? Staff lockers and fifty dollars for that, and then the membership for the online vendor. Uh, and I guess they're asking for board approval to go ahead with that. I think Nicole was going to speak on this, but she's not here again. In other words, this is board approval to do it, even though. If there is some question as whether the proper procedures were followed, is that pretty much what I get on all this stuff? Yeah, and yes. then there, there's been some receipts given. You know, I'm almost willing to give them the 150 bucks. This is silly, but yeah, I would I would recommend that we that this board approve the reimbursement as stated in this thing. This 197 dollars and 34 cents, Ralph. 187 34, uh, even though the I got 147. Where do you get 100? Well, there's fifty dollars for the locker she bought. Okay, 197 then. Yes, sir. Okay, 197 dollars and 34 cents. And that there maybe take some action to make sure to, to provide some more instruction to the people that are used doing this that they do it in the in the future that they do it in the proper manner so that all the T's are crossed and all the I's are. In a timely manner, it's already been requested. It's sort of. This is just to approve the reimbursement of 197.34, correct, Ralph? Yes. Been moved by Mr. Knotts. Is there support? So moved. Uh, Clerk Matei. Clerk, please call the roll. We'll call vote. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Clerk Matei, yes. Supervisor Rester? Yes. Okay, our last item, business 12. Uh, Blaine. Our supervisor at the DPW, right behind us here on Park Drive, he dug that uh, a, a bad uh, hydrant up to fix it, leaking hydrant. Couldn't get it to turn off all the way, and it requires a complete replacement of the hydrant. Uh, he tried to shut the valves down. As we know, we have a big project coming up here with a whole bunch of valve replacement. He can't get it to turn, shut down with the va the old valves that are in there that they, they broke. So he needs to repair two. 12 inch valves and they're actually right over here at Recor and Park right behind the building here. Um, and there's two valves and some materials. This is not part of the DWSRF that we just are starting to work on. We checked that. These are not on that list. So these particular valves are not on the list. They're not on the list. Okay, no so question. he just wants an approval for the parts of $9,232.01 uh, for East Jordan and I make that a motion. Support this stuff we have to do all the time. Yeah, and so was we're going to take this. Get it in the DW he and he has repairs and, uh, and maintenance supplies. I'll take a look at their budget on that, but I we may want to pull that out of the capital. I have a question. You could probably do it either way. Yeah. Question. Yeah. So you okay. said they're not included in the DWS? Or yeah, it's not. These two valves were not included in that list. It's not. They're not in that particular area. Okay. Different area. I'm just reading the last sentence that says these valves are currently scheduled. I, 
took two hours this afternoon to clarify that. And they it are not. Say it. So currently that's currently scheduled for the, the only one on that line, Herb, is the one right at our orchard and uh, M29 there where park ends down here by the, the, by the uh, Dollar General. That's and I think it's on the other side of the road. That one is scheduled to be replaced. Okay, that's fine. But there's two inline ones here <laughs> and two down here. These he doesn't think work either, but critically we need these to replace now. That's fine. There's a lot of valves that are not going to get replaced right. that we should, but we just don't have that kind of money. That's but fine. I just yep. read that sentence. And I just yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention that because that's the first thing I did. I said, Blaine, I don't want to approve this. I said, they're, they're, they're starting them in three weeks. Yeah. Or they're No. No, we sentence. got the we got the maps out. We spent two hours with it. No, they're not. They're I missed that. Got the engineer what, what did you put that sentence in here then? If you Sorry. Really checked it out. Yeah, I I checked it. He I don't know why he put it in there. Come on, Mr. Supervisor, you got to get, get an order. Well, that's what made me call him and say, hey, what do you mean? They don't show it on our plans because I first called PCE to find that out. It's a long story short. Any other questions? Please call. Roll call vote. Trustee Bebel. Yes. Trustee Blackstack. Yes. Trustee Nott. Yes. Trustee Richley. Yes. Clerk Matei, Supervisor Westrick. Yes. Thank you. Announcements, member comments, anyone? Is there anything else we can battle Supervisor about while he's here? You beat me up, man. Uh, I have one. It's from our engineer. They're going to be replacing a manhole. This is more for the general public's knowledge. At Francis and M29 down here. There's a really deep, bad manhole. This is part of the CWSRF project, but they're going to be starting that, I believe, on Thursday. They're going to give notices to the residents and all that stuff, but just so everybody knows out there. Sewer manhole in the, in the In the air here. That's Sewer manhole cool. replacement. They yeah. smell by the little store that we just got through talking about. <laughs> yeah. So at Francis there, within 50 feet of that manhole, they're going to be just kind of making a mess. There's a 10,000-pound base section on that manhole that's got to go in, so it's a monster excavator to move in for it. So that's the only announcement I had, though. Anybody else? Uh, board of review meetings are scheduled Monday, March 13th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And um, Wednesday, March 15th from 3 to 9 p.m. Appointments are recommended uh, for residents wishing to schedule a board of review hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pate. Anything else? No, sir. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Ms. Richley? I'm still going to get you to support. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you. We're adjourned. Thank you. You're supposed to say we're adjourned. Man.